Well, catching me a little off guard here, not really, but anyway. Um, as you know, today I mark my 30 and a half year anniversary of priesthood, and to help mark it, I bought myself a lobster through the uh, Rotary Club to support them in their activities, and so I thought I'd enjoy that tonight. Um, with a glass of wine and some wonderful vegan gluten-free cheesecake, pumpkin. Um, however, as you know, my big celebration for my 30th was canceled and I'm glad that it got canceled so that no one would get sick, not from the dinner, of course, but from COVID. COVID has really taken care, taken control of our lives and um, we have to roll with it. Um, so I'm grateful that um, no one is sick. Our, our parishioners, not one that I know of, was uh, contracted the virus and our town, I'm very pleased that our town, our city is uh, COVID free. And so I applaud everyone for doing their part to curb the spread of the virus and of course to embrace as much as we don't want to embrace the uh, challenges that go with it like mask wearing and hand sanitizing and social distance and all the nine nine yards that go with that so thank you for co your cooperation in that regard so i understand that i'm being summoned to the vestibule of the church, the um, anniversary party committee is presenting me with a gift. So I hate being put on the spot like that. However, let's go see what they're up to. Come on up. <laughs> <laughs> Father, on behalf of everyone who um, cares about you and appreciates uh, everything that you've done for all of your parishes over the years, we would like to present you with your special 30th anniversary gift. I thought it was a horse. <laughs> it might be, sorry to disappoint. I'm right. It's cardboard. It's okay. You can just right here. It's open. It's more cardboard. Green work workshops. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is something I told Josephine I would get in my retirement. I'm retiring! 
No kidding. <laughs> they didn't tell me. This is, um, do you want me to explain it? Yeah. This is the work of my favorite artist. Her name's Bev Doolittle. And this is called Let My Spirit Soar. And it is depicting a lady sitting obviously on the little point of a little uh, part of the lake or the river. And she's just enjoying the moment in solitude and in prayer the warmth of the sun and it's because it's called let my spirit soar you see her gazing towards heaven it really says that she's in communication with God and her spirit is all for him and if you look closely at the reflection in the water you don't see her you see the grass reflected but you don't see her you see her prayer in the form of the birds. And her prayer is going up, and birds don't fly into the water, of course, of the reflection of the birds. Her spirit is her prayer, and it's ascending. So thank you very much. Thank you very, very much. I really um, don't deserve this. Yes, you do. No, I don't. And I'm the pastor, and I say I don't deserve it. <laughs> However, it's crazy that today, I'm going to put this down because I don't want to wrinkle it. It's crazy that <clears throat> it's crazy that today is the feast day of St. Leo the Great. Um, St. Leo the Great did incredible things, and most of all, he worked for peace. Uh, he had to confront Attila the Hun on two occasions so that Attila would attack and destroy Rome. Leo the Great won the first battle, but he didn't win the second one. But he did preach working for peace. He preached um, um, about faith, he teach taught about creativity, uh, about charity. And the reading for today talks about who's the servant and how we are all called to do what we are called to do and simply do it without looking for recognition in a Bev Doolittle print, I'm humbled, but we are all called simply to do what we ought to have done simply because we are disciples of our Lord. So on that note, thank you, or I can go on for more. If you want more, I can preach. 30 years experience, 30 and a half years experience. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone who contributed to the gift. And um, whew, thank you. And on a note of being worthy, I have a whole page full of people here who think you are. Oh. So. <laughs>